Nearly one in three people here in San Diego County have faced food insecurity during the pandemic, according to a new report. It also found that, ironically, it's the very people who work on the front lines of food production and service who often find themselves unable to afford that next meal. News 8's Richard Allen explains how local leaders are hoping to provide a long-term solution to these problems. Well, that's right. This new report examines the concerning rise in food insecurity here in San Diego and also provides a long term approach to combating it. During the pandemic, we saw such disruptions to our food system, increase in food insecurity. In fact, this new report released by the San Diego Food System Alliance finds that even before the pandemic, one in seven people in the San Diego region dealt with food insecurity, meaning they were unable to afford or access regular nutritious meals. During the COVID crisis, though, that number jumped to one in every three. And our goal is to continue to remove barriers to access food. Vanessa Ruiz is board chair of the Food System Alliance, as well as VP of operations for the San Diego Food Bank. She says along with the Food Bank, the roughly 500 local nonprofits it partners with experienced firsthand the alarming increase in demand. They were seeing longer lines than ever before. They were running out of food faster than ever before. Um, they were seeing first time families coming to their doors, people who had just recently lost their jobs. The report also finds there are 217,000 essential workers who produce, prepare, deliver and serve food in San Diego County. 80% of these families that are frontline workers are Hispanic and um, with that, we've also recognized that they're not earning a livable wage. This new report called San Diego County Food Vision 2030 aims to change that and address the systemic inequities that are contributing to our current food insecurity. It outlines three main goals to strive for over the next decade. Cultivating justice for all underserved communities in San Diego County, combating climate change, and building resilience through investment in the local food economy with programs like the Olive Wood Gardens in National City. This is a beautiful example of what we'd like to see more of. And to take a look at the full report, including the roadmap it provides for achieving these goals, just go to CBS8.com and click on the online version of this story.